Hi, I am Yvonne Höller, and I am Professor in Salfrede with the House Colonial Akureyri. And I would like to introduce the APIC SAD study to you. Uh, APIC stands for Epidemiologic, Physiological, and Cognitive Risk Factors, and SAD stands for Seasonal Affective Disorder. So we are analyzing who is vulnerable to get winter depression in Iceland. In this study, we collaborate with Ragnar Peter Olafsson at the University of Iceland, and we have international collaboration partners in Austria, Germany, and Italy that are experts in computer science, mathematics, statistics, and environmental medicine. So the aim of this study is to find out what makes people vulnerable to get winter depression. And the study has two parts. In the first part, we want to see how frequent is it actually to have winter depression in Iceland. We know 20 years ago, only 4.8% of the population in Iceland suffered from winter depression. So that is quite old data and that might have changed. So therefore we want to check how is this now. And the interesting thing is that 4.8% is not very much. Other countries that are equally north, like Iceland, have high rates of winter depression up to 10%. So in this first part, we are contacting 15,000 people in Iceland and invite them to a web survey. And so far we have contacted 4,000 people and 900 participated. And among those who participated, we are now starting in the second part of the study to contact 200 people, which we will invite for a more detailed examination. And in this more detailed examination, they get first a link to a web survey that they will take on seven days, where they are asked to indicate how they are feeling in the morning and in the evening and how much they slept, how well they slept. And they will get this tool here to measure air quality. And um, it looks like at the moment, the air quality in this studio is quite good. Um, after that week, we will meet with these people. And if they live in Akureyri or Reykjavik, we will invite them to a lab. But we will also invite people who live in rural areas to participate. And to this end, we will find a place to meet them. Might be a community place or we book a hotel room or something to uh, do a more detailed examination. We are really interested about the conditions people live in rural and urban areas because we want to compare the situations. And you can imagine air quality is different in, in rural and urban uh, areas. The interesting thing about air quality is that it was found to be connected to stroke and lung cancer, that's probably what you know, but it's also related to depression. So that's why it's maybe relevant for winter depression. Yeah, and when we meet people, we will ask them a lot of questions about their mood and about their lifestyle, like sports and nutrition and um, habits of negative thinking of, or rubination. And we will uh, record their brain activity because in the electroencephalogram, we also found some biomarkers are indicative for depression. And if you are going to be a participant, that looks like this. So yeah, maybe we see each other in the lab. Thank you for listening. Bye bye.